Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Blue Matrix here, and welcome back to another tutorial. I know I said I was supposed to take a two-week break uh, to get everything developed, but however, I just couldn't help but make a tutorial because I, 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 because I just love content creating. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be uh, showing you how to install mods for Blade and Sorcery PC version. Now, this is different from the Nomad video that I made, but anyway, before we start, I just want to say thank you for 1,000 subs 1, views for, uh, for that video. That was greatly appreciated and anyway um without further ado let's go ahead and get started so what you want to do is go to the oculus store now we're going to show you where exactly you can install these mods at and also uh, and also a disclaimer for for what mods you're going to put onto the game so let's start with let's start with the what mods you can put onto the game first okay so you go to uh your game into into like library store doesn't matter Click on the name Blade and Sorcery, it'll put you onto the screen. Alright, make sure that you got the exact that you get the exact update that you get the mods for. Alright, you got U7, U8.3, U9, U9.3. Uh, I'm right now on 10.2, and there's also U11 beta. Um, it's good to make sure that you get the right update for the right for the right mod all right so because you can't use a u7 mod for a, for a one for a 10.2 uh, it doesn't work like that unfortunately so we're gonna have to get mods for the exact update for me i'm gonna use uh update 10 so that's how we're gonna do it so now let's go and get to the actual tutorial so what you want to do is locate your mods folder so what we're gonna do is click on the three dot tab right here and then click on details and this will show you where uh, your your folder is at so for instance mine is program files oculus software software I mean I, I know where the rest of the location is uh, you can go and copy this if you want to uh, but I know where my location is so but you'll but you'll know where to go to when you follow this tutorial so click on this PC you know, you'll probably have to like find it over here all right go to Windows program files oculus software software warp frog blade and sorcery blade and sorcery data streaming assets and mods this is where all your mods are gonna be at okay so now that you got this onto your side we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and hide this tab, and we don't need this anymore. So now we're gonna go get the actual mods. So we're gonna go to nexusmods.com/blade-and-sorcery/mods. I'll put the link of this in the description. So you got a whole category full of mods uh, to get. Now bear in mind that some of these mods don't even display what title updates are for. So you so you'll either have to ask the, to the maker of the mod for what update it is or you're just gonna have to chance it but uh, anyway uh, uh, anyway uh, before you can get to any of these mods you'll have to make an account for nexusmods.com all right you'll have to make an account there's no other way around it but since I already have an account I'm not gonna I don't have to uh, show it uh, but however I know you can I, I know you'll be able to figure it out if you need to make an account so uh, all you just gotta do is just make your account and uh, and then you're good to go. So anyway, we're going to look through here and we're going to see what kind of mods. We're going to see what kind of mods we can get. So let's see. There's Drax Coliseum. Let's see. Well, I'm trying to see what mod I want to get. Okay, I don't want to go back there. Seven. Let's see. Uh, Let's see here. Let's uh, you know what? Let's go with healing spell. I mean, I could I could use some healing myself. I could, I mean, I could use that. All right. So, um, that you know, I don't I don't want the spell. I mean, I, I was just realizing that. Uh, I mean, bear uh, I mean, bear with me when I when I'm doing so. I mean, I could be picky with mods. So uh, uh, so let's see. 
I mean, I, I mean, I could be very picky on what uh, what kind of mods I want. So, uh, let's see. We got. What's this? A spell that allows you to steal weapons out of the hands of an NPC. Oh, that, that's pretty interesting. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. All right. So, if you already made an account, so um, if you've already made an account for this website, you can go ahead and download mods. So, for this instance, we got a steal spell for uh, for title update 10. All right. So, what you want to go into is files. And it'll give you a category on on the updates you can get for. But we're going to get for 1.10. So we're going to go to manual download. Alright, so uh, fast download. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, and besides, I mean, uh, don't worry if you have to use slow download. I mean, because most of these mods are like sm are small files. And they don't take very long to install. In fact, uh, for this one, it's, but most of these mods can install instantly even if you use this. This uh, you'll have to pay for, but however, uh, we're just gonna do slow download, and it'll do a countdown for your for your download, and there you go. All right, so you installed it. So here's what you're gonna do. All right, drag this onto your desktop. All right. So, what you want to do is double click this, and pull the folder out of the zip file. There we go. You don't need this anymore. You can save this, throw it away. Doesn't matter. So anyway. Now, we're going to pull out the same folder, the mods folder, that, uh, that we just pulled out earlier. And what you want to do is drag this into the mods folder. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Now, uh, of course, you can add more mods. I mean, this could work for maps, uh, expansion packs, um, weapon mods, spells. This works for anything, all right. So uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's that's all you gotta do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, but before you before you go to click off the video, all right, I, I just want to just go ahead and disclaim, okay. Um, this mod will activate, okay. This will activate instantly, all right. As you load into your game, whether if it's in your house, I mean, yeah, you will load into your house. You will find your mods in, either in your depending on what mod you get, either in your spell wheel. In your book or on the map, all right. So, uh, so that's where you'll be finding them. Okay, uh, it will load onto it uh, instantly. You don't have to do any other setup. This is how that's how you do it. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to show some love. Hit the like button down below. Maybe we can get to like five likes or something like that. That'd be greatly appreciated. And as as of always, if you're at all new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and become a part of the notification squad. Hope you guys enjoyed, and well, I'll see you dudes next time. Peace out, Majorholics.